Here's a back note I was given by Harry Eng back in 1993. It's extraordinary. I called it the Harry Eng Impossible Dollar Bill. How has it been made? It's got the outside of the note here, which is George Washington, and this is the, in, the other side of it. Something strange is going on here. This is one of these um, examples of what Americans love doing, which is playing with their money. The book, for instance, that um, Robert Neal gave me all oh, about 20 years ago. And it shows that Americans love fooling around with dollar bills. This particular one has never been published, and it's taken hour to show it how to do it. It's a very, very strange effect. So I'll do it in a very large one in a minute, but just before that, to show that um, I spent a bit of time on this, you need to start not with any dollars, don't waste dollars, just get a bit of paper like this, and put some squiggles on the back to show the back of the note and the front is that. Now the interesting thing about this particular invention of Paris is it only needs one small cut here in the middle. Only one, that's the only, that's the side of a dollar bill and the only cut it has that little tie in the middle and no other cuts. So many of these fancy impossible notes have loads of cuts, not this one. And then it's got just three folds. The first fold is like that. The second fold is a third way across. And the third fold is that way, and there's a, the slit is in there. That's all you need to do in folding, very easy. One more thing is to put this or that, this one inside this, to make a sort of little, little tuck it in, tuck fold, that makes like a loop of paper. And that's the main job finished, in fact. Now, this is the interesting thing where it gets a bit complicated, but follow me, and I'll do it in, in large in a minute. Inside that is a little tongue of paper, which is the other way around. That tongue has got to be folded and drawn down and the job's finished. So let's look at something a bit bigger and you can see what I'm doing. This is something you remember that Harry, Harry Ames said, he is the guy with the bottle. Yes, the bottle. He gave me this amongst other things, which is a kind of wallet or sachet for keeping documents. And here's a large stage money note. And I'll do the job with this one you can probably see what's going on. So it's got the one little slit, the only bit of damage is a little slit in the middle there, from there to there, and then it's just got three folds. Fold one, half like that, fold two, come across, across to there, and fold three, across to there. You've got to tuck this one inside the other, or vice versa, it doesn't matter. I'll do it this way round. And that's all the folding done. This whole job should take you about a minute if you're really getting nifty with this. There's the job nearly finished. The last thing to do is to get to that tab. So in here, when I open this up, the little tunnel or tab is oh, starting in. That's the one I've got to do. Now to make that work properly, it's something I discovered, which Harry didn't tell me about, is you've got to do some folds in it. And what I suggest you do is you open up the note again, just concentrate on that little tab, and turn it round, something like that, and roll, 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 roll. You've got to get that to roll nicely, because inside it's going to roll like this. Down, 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 and out, and the job's finished. That's what you've got to be able to do. So, let's have a go. I've already folded it, so it should be okay. The first fold is like that. The second fold is like that, and like that. And then you do that little tuck fold where you put it into the in between the other sides, so like that. And that's all the folding done. Now we go for the little tongue inside. I'm going to open it up first. I'm going to fold it back down a little way to see if I can encourage it to do its job. And then we get a pair of tweezers. And when I go to this end, like this, and open up the right side of it, I can look around a bit, but it's not easy to see it you'll see a tab appears in the bottom of it, which is, yes, it's in there. There's a little tab with tweezers, put it in, and start pulling. Let's see if I can start getting it come out. Yeah, it's coming, it's coming, it's coming. Ooh, oh, you come, ooh, fancy a bit more. Ooh. Uh, last little bit is where, there we are, the tab. So this is the last stage, I'm gonna pull that out, and the job's finished. Will I leave it next time? Well, no, I'll finish this time. 
the thing is with this last bit you've got to do it quite slowly because otherwise you'll tear it this is the inside of the thing and suddenly it's flipped there we are you've got a note finished if that was a dollar bill you'd have washington here and this is the inside of the notes on the other side this exactly matches harry Ainsley, but in a large version so you ended up with a very very strange puzzling thing which people can look at and work out how on earth it's been made highly recommended no one's ever done it before but do practice with just all the bits of paper to start with because you'll get the idea if you actually practice with just little i used i just use little bits of paper like this to, to fiddle with the last bit is the trickiest bit but what an extraordinary idea of harry's i really admire that man for the ingenuity he's done for this so have a go yourself it's a harry Aime impossible dollar bill it's a beaut wow